Why is it in golf instruction we spend all this time talking about the backswing and the downswing when really what we should be focused on is impact, the moment of truth. That's when it all happens. Well, you've come to the right place because today we're getting right to the heart of it. Where do you need to be at impact? And more importantly, what are three mistakes that you might be making and how can you fix them? I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And today I'm gonna share with you three common mistakes that happened at the moment of truth. The impact position. We're gonna talk about weight, we're gonna talk about arms, and we're gonna talk about shaft angle. And you can watch all the videos you want about backswing and downswing and all these other things, and we've done a lot of them, and they're helpful. But if you don't get impact right, you ain't got nothing right, so let's dive right into this. And I can tell you this, hey, if you haven't already, be sure to join our family here at US Golf TV. Join the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you know when we're getting new information coming out. And please leave a comment, I respond to all of them. And some of you out there, believe it or not, you're teaching me some stuff. And I like that, because we're all here to learn and to grow. So let's dive into it, here we go. So we're talking about impact, the moment of truth. Now, when I'm working on impact, these three things we're talking about, I like to use my live view, okay? It's a wonderful device for training. I use it a lot here at the academy. And I've got it set up right here. Now, I'm working with my seven iron. I've got two lines on the screen. And we're gonna talk about these and why they're important. I got a red line, I got a yellow line. Now, as you're set in there, this red line, you see it's a little bit lower, is right off my lead hip. Just barely off my lead hip. The yellow line is just off my lead ear. Okay, that's important, because that's gonna come in really handy. Now. The most common mistake that I see with golfers, especially those of you who slice it, or you struggle with contact, is in weight movement. What's happening is that at impact, your weight moves backwards and stays on your back foot. So notice how I'm doing this. You can see it right here in live view. As I transition down into impact, my weight goes back. See that movement right there? It's working backwards. Now this is gonna cause the bottom of your swing to move back, you're gonna hit behind it, all types of bad stuff. So where should it be or how can you train it? Well, here you go. Got set up, so what I want you to do is at impact, I want you to feel like your lead hip moves into that red line. And we've done a ton of testing here at the Sanford Power Golf Academy and at US Golf TV, and we know this, the best players in the world at impact have the vast majority of their weight on their lead foot. And when they get that weight on their lead foot, there it is, see that, moving into that? Love that move right there, okay? When they get their weight in their lead foot, okay, that moves the bottom of their swing forward and improves your contact. So if you're struggling with contact, the first place you wanna look is that impact, you've gotta get that weight forward, get that lead hip over that red line, and you're gonna be in business. So that's tip number one. Tip number two I wanna talk about has to do also with not hitting the ball in the center of the face. Okay, not hitting the ball in the center of the face. And I'm going to give you a, something to do with slicing your driver that has to do with upper body in a second. So one of the most common things that we see amateur golfers make when they struggle with contact slicing is what we call the chicken wing. All right, you've probably heard it, the chicken wing. So at impact, when they come in contact, they have this chicken wing look. So they're set in here. Okay, here we got my two lines. That's why I love, that's why I love live view. Set right in there. Here we go again. All right, now if I go to impact, see this would be Impact, see how my elbows are separated? That would be the chicken wing. And when I do that, boom. Okay, that's gonna really cause inconsistencies in where I'm hitting the ball in the face, direction-wise, all types of different things. Where you wanna be is you want you to feel like your elbows squeeze together, okay? So notice right there in the live view, you know where your hip's going now, right? We've learned that. Where's your weight going? It's going forward, and we're gonna squeeze the elbow, see? So here you go, set up. Let's go directly into impact. Squeeze the elbows, bump the hip. This is how I like to work impact with my students. I like to do what I call a three setter. I get set up, regular set up, here we go. There's one, lead hip bumps, elbow squeeze. There's one. There's two. Okay, there's three. Now I like to just go ahead and hit one. Kind of combo those feels. That felt really solid and really good. So that's tip number two in terms of impact. Make sure your elbows Feel like they're squeezing together a little bit. You can do that from face down to live view right there. Now let's talk about upper body. Talk a little bit about upper body, and then I'm gonna give you a bonus tip at the end here. Talk about shaft angle, okay? This, I, love, I love that tip. We're gonna talk about shaft angle. So upper body with the driver. So I'm gonna grab my driver right here because this tip I think is most important with the driver because that's where I see it most often. 
most of the time when people make this mistake at impact, they do it with their drivers. So they're set in here. Let's get a golf ball here. We'll get it teed up. Now, the beauty of live view is I can still use those same lines. Here I'm set in here. Okay. Now, the same concepts are going to hold true with lower body and elbow squeeze with the driver. But we're going to really focus on upper body. So on the upper body, if you're slicing it, typically what's happening is that an impact, your head's in front of the line. You're getting your upper body to out towards the ball and in front. Now typically you do this because you're looking for power. You get going over the top, you get your upper body going out towards the ball. Notice how my head works in front of that line. Okay, so when I'm working here on impact with my students, I've got live view set up, you know where your hips are going, right? Boom. You know where your elbow's squeezing, where do you think your head is? Right there, see, just behind, that's the beauty of it, look at that. So I'm going to do a three setter again, here we go. There's one, head's back, I'm really focusing on the head position now, looking at my mobile device, there's two, there's three, now let me just see if I can replicate that. Okay, that felt pretty solid. Alright, so that's the upper body, that's where I want you to look, if you're slicing your driver, you're getting good irons, slicing your driver, think about upper body. You're getting it to out in front. Now, I promised you a bonus tip. So let me give you this bonus tip right here. This is one literally just came up with here this week when I was using my live view. It is fantastic. So here we go. Has to do with shaft angle. We know this. The best players in the world, okay, at impact have a slight little bit of forward shaft lean. Okay, so what does that mean? Here we go. We got live view set up. Let me get set up. You know where the red line goes. The yeah, line goes, okay, so we know the hips, boom, right, elbow squeeze, where's the head, a little bit back. Now, watch this, hands right between the two. Look at that, right between the red line and the yellow, and that's beautiful position right there. Now, where are most amateur golfers at? Well, you know where they're at, okay, you don't even need me to tell you. They're back here, right? Might have their weight forward, yeah, probably got some chicken wing if they're back like that, okay, but that's for that. So, I'm going to do a three-setter again, I'm going to do a three-setter. So here we go, hips, okay, elbows, head, boom, right between the two. There's one, there's two. Look at that beautiful position. There's three, now let's go ahead and hit one. Wow, perfect, I love that position. Now, I have to tell you this, for really high level players, I don't see this very often, but super high level players, every once in a while, I'll see where they actually get their hands too far forward at impact. Okay, notice how my hands now moved in front of the red box. Okay, I don't very often see that with amateur golfers, but I do see it with really high level players. And they get almost too much forward shaft lean, okay, which can cause its own set of issues. That's why I love having the little line, the two lines are the yellow and the red, and I know right where I need to go. That's the perfect amount. There's too much. You're probably not doing that, but you could be. Okay, there's not enough. Right there, there's the magic move. So let's do a last one, we'll do a three setter. Here we go, hips, okay, elbow squeeze, head back. Boom, there's one, there's two, there's three. Here we go, let's hit it. Fantastic, so next time you head to the golf course, don't be thinking about all this other stuff, backswing, downswing, all that. You should be focused on where you're at at impact and if you do that, that's gonna help you start hitting some better shots.